Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Trade Chat. My name is Panzer and today I am here at a Warcraft media junket in Universal Studios Hollywood because I've tricked them into thinking I am relevant. And I even got to do some interviews with Duncan Jones as well as several of the cast members and it was very, very exciting. So that's what's coming up in this video. This is the intro, that's gonna be the rest of the video. I hope that you enjoy it and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. I feel really bad, but I'm going to grill you with some more questions, only because I would love clarification as okay. to why those changes were made, not because right. they were bad. Fair enough. Um, so one of the big lore changes, obviously, that everybody sees is that Garona yeah. is, in the game, half Draenei, and yeah. in the movie, is half human. Yeah. But we saw Draenei's in the movie, so... There are Draenei's. Well, Draenei's do exist in our in our universe, yeah. um, and uh, as you you know, as you'll see in the film, there kind of uh, there there has been a conflict between orcs and them, mm -hmm. um, and they are. I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying that Fell is powered by using life as yeah. as a fuel for it, um, and the Draenei end up being used. A number of them are being used as fuel for Gul'dan to use the portal to yeah. leave uh, Draenor and and come to Azeroth. Um, but they are pretty much restricted restricted to the very start of the movie, mm -hmm. and it's more about you know their place in, Dra in, in Draenor. Mm -hmm. We're going to end up spending most of the film on Azeroth, and because of of Garona's uh, character, it really needed to be that pivotal sort of fulcrum role between the two cultures that most of our movie takes place in. Obviously, our film is Warcraft, not World of Warcraft. And back in Orcs and Humans, which was the first RTS, mm -hmm. the focus was pretty exclusively on Orcs and Humans oh, and, those, and those two races. Absolutely. So for us, the character of Garona, really, the, the, what makes most sense for us is that, is that she is someone who is an outcast in both cultures. Um, and she tries to find a home in both. And obviously, you know the results of where she ends up. Yeah. So, okay. Will we ever find out? Like, I, I saw the movie. Yes. So I know this question wasn't answered in the movie. Yeah. Maybe if there's a sequel someday, will we yeah. ever find out how that was possible? Yeah. I, I mean, well, to be honest, <laughs> it won't take a sequel. It's in the extended edition. Oh. And, it, and it was in the cut until until we got closer to the film coming out. Oh, that, I didn't um, see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, the answer makes sense. Okay. And in, in, again, in our, in our, in our reality, and I think uh, the, in our retconning, as Chris yeah. Metzen would call it, um, the, the, the reason that she exists makes total sense. Okay, no, I love it, I love it. So the other thing that I noticed that was a big change from the actual game lore is that um, at the end, Kedgar... Can I just say, old. if you think about it, if you watch the film again, uh -huh. and you think about all of her reactions with characters and what they say, you could actually probably work it out. I feel like I could I could come up with some good fan fiction. Okay. Sure. <laughs> um, so, Kedgar's not an old man at the end of the movie. That's correct. But things still happen. Yeah. Is there, was there a canon reason for this, or did you just not want to put poor Ben Schnetzel on that makeup? I think with the number of characters that we're into, well, you're the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the least of his worries, with all the other stuff we had going on. Um, no, it wasn't that. It was just that we have so many characters that we're introducing, so many locations we're introducing. Oh, yeah. you, for an audience that doesn't know Warcraft, to suddenly have one of your main characters look different, yeah. I think would be just asking them maybe just one thing too much to take yeah. on board. That's a fair answer. Do you feel like somebody who hasn't played the game will be able to take the story away from the movie without having any... Uh... So far, the, the response has been good. You know, with people who have seen the film who know nothing about Warcraft do understand the movie on their level. And that's what we were trying to do. I mean, if you look at Pixar movies, they make movies for kids and also for the parents to yeah, enjoy absolutely. on two different levels. Mm -hmm. This is the same kind of deal. As I tried to make a film where the fans would experience it one way and feel like they've gone home, and people who don't know anything about Warcraft enjoy it as a fantasy film where they're kind of, everything is new to them. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I, I think we're at time. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> so I have the silliest question for you, Travis, and that is, what was it like to film such an intense fight scene barefoot? Was it a foot double? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was actually rubber floor, I think. The stuff that he has superhuman feet, though. Not, honestly, uh, I think he could walk across wire. Honestly, he. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not kidding. It's a lot easier to move in bare feet than the, the normal costumes on set. Yeah. And they're pretty. Yeah. Take a peek. Okay. Oh, oh you are, yeah. your foot's out right now. I it's didn't, a good foot. I didn't notice, out. but that's hilarious. <laughs> He's got the hobbit foot. I got the yeah. Middle Earth foot. If I took mine out, you'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> Elderon's living in my foot. It's oh, not you know, good. you'll have that. Um, now, Garona spent a lot of time throughout the movie growing and developing, and there was a specific moment for me that was really impactful. 
experience, and it was like a very touching moment for me. Did you feel like there were any other moments like that that you particularly liked that were stand out? Yeah, um, there's quite a few for Garona. I mean, I think that uh, she she comes from a world where she has had to protect herself and not allowed to show her vulnerability. She's got a, she's a survivor in a world where she's smaller than everyone and not accepted. She's half orc, half human, and um, and then she comes to this human world and it's as if her skin softens into her heart. She finds herself drawn and falling in love with Lothar. There's tender moments there. Mm -hmm. There's and also this feeling of family with the pe the king and. Um, mm -hmm. And so, and there's things that I can't say because I don't want to give it away. But yeah. uh, you have to see the movie. Those were the moments is um, when she has to sort of uh, choose, make really, really yeah. hard choices. Yeah, for sure. Now, the end scene with Duratan, ooh, I'm doing my best here, was very, very dark and impactful. Mm. And I feel like Duratan plays such a kind-hearted character to, at the end, have such. A meaningful moment in such a dark way. Um, how did that? How did you take that scene? Well, I already knew from the from the fan artwork that someone had done about when he f he gets his the, the blood rage, you know. Yeah. So Duratan, right from the beginning, I knew, having spoken to Rob and spoken to to Duncan, that I wanted to have someone who was fully capable of destroying everything around him. Yeah. So the fell is tempting because it, it leaves it with no consequence. Yeah. But I needed him to have the thoughtful presence of mind to, to hold that at bay. So Duritan's someone who has control of his tiger within, you know what I mean? Uh, you're not getting too fruity about it. He has control over himself and I needed Duritan to have that presence when he came out. So that was something I focused very much on because anyone can flip their lid and, and become as dark as possible. Yeah. It's actually the easier path is to yeah. be, be brutal and dark. Um, so I'm super excited. I met you last year mm -hmm. and seeing the movie, you're amazing. Oh, you're thanks. Oh, right on. And I thought you were really great. And one of the things that I caught in a few interviews that I've read that you've done is that you read The Last Guardian. Yes. To prepare for the role. Yeah. So my whole audience is like big Warcraft fans. And I would love to hear what you took away from that book. Well, the book, it's, it's very... It's very, very relevant to the storyline that is, is that unfolds in the film, especially pertaining to Cadgar and Medivh. And so it was, it was great. It was just great raw source material to draw from. And I think Duncan was very diligent about the whole creative team was very diligent about being faithful to the mythology of the game. Yeah. And I mean, I like why wouldn't you be like it's you know it's it's rich and it's textured and it's 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 an amazing world in which to dive into. And so. Um, so yeah, it was. I was surprised at how many parallels and similarities there were between the two, um, but it was exciting to get a little bit more background and get another perspective on on these characters, and also like just on the paradigm of what it means to be the guardian, the responsibility that comes with that, the pres prestige is, is not even like the reverence that comes with it. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, and yeah, so it just felt exactly, and so my view of the world itself just felt a little fuller after having read that book. It felt more informed. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, I've been like dying to ask you questions because I play a whole lot of WoW. I know that you at least at some point played a whole lot of WoW. Are you still playing? I'm still playing, but these days I'm just an LFR hero. That's Are about it. Are you excited? Are you excited for the expansion? Um, yeah, I am, but you know, not as excited as I used to be. I remember when uh, you know, uh, when when Cataclysm came out, yeah. and my whole guild went out and got it, and we were sitting there like 1,487 in the queue, like it was just sitting there for like four hours waiting to get in. Uh, I did, you know, I'm I'm very excited uh, about it, but you know, I I don't have the time to dedicate yeah. any more, so I'm just going to level up my characters and then level up. You know, that'll all be up. it's going up to 10, 110, isn't it? My guild would kind of like to extend you and offer to carry you through the most run if you would like. That's it. very that's very very <laughs> kind. That's very very kind. You know, I I I played this game. You know, I ranked in the top three in World of Logs um, of my class through every fight in Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah, DK. I was uh, back then. Well, back then I started as uh, Blood DPS, oh, okay. and that was I was like killing it, Blood Lumber DPS. Baby, yeah, I was like nine nine k DPS in Old UR. Yeah. It was like it was like oh, yeah. excellent. And then oh, yeah. obviously they killed Blood DPS, yeah. which I'm still mad about. Yeah. And then I, I was unholy uh, until they killed that. <laughs> and then as soon as uh, I got the two one-handers from uh, Heroic Saurfang 25, uh -huh. uh, that I was frost from that point on. I've been frost ever since. Oh, that's fantastic. So as a player of the game, what was your favorite? There were lots of nods. I saw a lot. Uh, what was your favorite nod to World of Warcraft, the game, in the movie? 
I like the Murloc. <laughs> like everybody <laughs> likes the Murloc. But the, you know, the, the thing is, it's very hard to pick out one thing when the whole film is an homage to the game. But I think my favorite little aside, little note um, was probably the Kobold posters. But you know, we tried really hard to get like, I wanted, I tried to get Dung to put a naked night elf dancing in, uh, <laughs> in, in Lion's Pride in and to have somebody on a horse CGI-ly put in on top of a mailbox trying to jump onto a roof. Yeah. But, but that stuff just, it just wouldn't have worked. Yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. If you care, my favorite one was when you were fighting with Midi. Mm -hmm. There's the orange glow around you. Yeah. It's the level up animation. <laughs> right on. So, but it was subtly done. But I'm so glad I got to talk to you guys today. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really love the movie and I really think that fans of the game are going to like it as well. Awesome. I hope so. That means a lot. So. Nice one. Thank you so much. Okay. Really nice to meet you. And that's it for the interviews, guys. I hope that you enjoyed them. I hope I asked questions that you would have wanted to ask. I tried my best. I had a limited amount of time, and I'm kind of a derp, so I did my best. I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure that you rate it thumbs up again. I said that already, but I'm saying it again. I love you all. You're my heart. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. What's your crystal in the 9 millimeter shell? It's on your neck. Neck. Oh, I don't even know. I just thought it was cool. It looks like right? a sharpening stone. Yeah, the old Vikings used to wear their I sharpening cool. stones on their neck. It reminded me of the so Texas crystals in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. In a nine milli shell. <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was Did you really see really it? Cool. Did you get to see it? Yeah. I like... Did you I enjoy it? I'm kind us. of obsessed with you. Oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. No, your we character all are. is super phenomenal. Oh, my... Yeah. Like, I wasn't expecting Garona to be, like, the... I don't know, like, the main character, but, like, it was your story. Oh, like, it was Garona's story, and it was phenomenal. And I don't know if you know this, but she was a huge part of this expansion. You had to do this huge quest line to earn her as like your partner. The expansion. And yeah. Her. Her. Yeah. You just made my day. I yeah. don't even want to tell you. Yeah. No, you were. I was mm. obsessed with Grona's character. Awesome. So good. Right. I mean, you guys are great too. You <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We agree. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're on her bandwagon yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So so good. So cool. so good. Awesome. I'd have remembered your hair. <laughs> I was blonde at the time. I'd have remembered you as blonde. <laughs> Excellent. So, have I you talked to Rob Kaczynski yet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we only had four minutes. It was rough for both of us. Okay. <laughs> Look at that uh, horde leggings. Check that out. Right. All right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, at that horde, rainbow horde. Like, yeah. Look at that as well. Nice. And from Trade Chat, just that's a, yeah, that's a dude. well term. I don't know how Blizzard feels about me having that on lockdown. On the oh, really? <laughs> But ah, I'm so excited you. I got to meet you guys, and I loved the movie, oh, and it Especially Garona. No, but that's yeah. great, though, because you're a real fan. Like, that's, yeah. it's like, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I've been playing for, like, nine years. So. Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. I've read a bunch of the books, so I, I knew what I was getting into, and yeah. it, it exceeded my expectations. Awesome. That's, awesome. that's, that's, really, that's very it kind. wonderful. I think that the fans of the game will be very happy. Thank great, you so thank much. you so much. I appreciate what you guys have me. Did you buy that or someone made it for you? Oh, I bought it. I bought it. 